luncheon, so we're cooking, cooking. He's your personal chef. What? I sound like Pat Rizzo this morning. <laughs> Excuse me. I like that new picture of me. Don't uh, you? I love all pictures huh? of you. Big I know. No cigar, no We're pizza. here with your personal chef, Vince Guccione, and it's time now to cook up snacks for your election night. You can see we got snacks, we got the American flag. This is all very jingoistic here, Big V. God bless America. Yes. Okay, election night. In our family, one of the things we do, we stay up all night, watch yes. the returns. Right. And we don't uh, go to bed until someone concedes. You know, those are the rules. The idea is to have food that's easy to make, and they could sit at the table. You don't have to reheat it. You don't have right. to keep going for right. it. Just here. Okay, real fast, going around. These are uh, small sliders, filet mignon sliders. Then everybody says, oh my gosh, that's going to sound like very expensive. Right. All you have to do is buy a small little tenderloin. This is what's left of it right here. <laughs> they cost about $10. That okay. made all of these sandwiches plus and you that. Have some left over, right? Right, exactly. A little bit of uh, oh, just brown in the pan. Just Throw it you, how long do you cook it? Just you brown it in a pan for about a minute or two to okay. seal it into a 400 degree oven for about six or seven minutes. Okay. Let it cool. That's it? Slice it thin. That's it. It has to be rare. Add a tomato, any kind of dressing that you like. Also, paninis. Oh, I uh, love the panini. I, panini. I just love the name panini. You know, it's you went just... to college in school with a guy named Panini. Oh, yeah. abs Joe absolutely. Panini. When I first time I heard of that is when. Uh, I was going through the music book and I recognized it and she said the she said, Oh, you're on the wrong page. I said, What? She says it's page nine. I thought page nine was pocket. Any girl, here's what you do. You just take <laughs> some there, sourdough <laughs> page nine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sourdough bread. Uh, some of the some of the same meat. Right. And cheese. Now remember when you make a grilled cheese sandwich either on a panini press or whatever. You have to put the cheese on both sides of the inside of the bread. If you only do it on one, that one will not step. Do you put any butter on there? <laughs> Absolutely. You have to butter the top and the bottom. Okay? I'm going to open up one of these. To I was show. going, yes. I got I was it. Going to Talk heat. about the chili while I open it. Oh, man. Yeah, that is stuck together. Yeah, they're stuck <laughs> together. They're stuck. I, I, I got to eat it to make sure that it's okay. All right. Chili. And you come off from work, you vote. And you say, I don't have time to make chili. Here's a great way to make chili. Really cool. You buy a can of beans. You buy a can of chili con carne. No mm -hmm. beans. Put the two of them together. I put two. That's two cans. So right. I would put two of each. All you need is a secret ingredient is a chipotle powder. Chipotle. Spicy, though. It's something, <clears throat> actually, it's not really that spicy, but it's a very musky, uh, uh, wonderful, wonderful flavor, similar to cumin. You heat it up, put some cheese on the top of it, forget it. We had a little small thing of fondue, and the reason I made this fondue is that the cheese we used was kind of dry, so I cut off all the edges, and I didn't want to throw right. it away. So I put it in a pan with some flour and yeah. some white wine. Forget about it. You can dip some of these in here. Yes. <clears throat> Good <laughs> stuff <clears throat> all around. I'm talking like Pat Rizzo. If you have any questions for your personal <laughs> chef, email him at personalchef at kpsplocal2.com. And remember, you can find all of Vince's recipes right on our website, local 2 kpsplocal2.com. Just click in this morning at the top of the page. We're going to eat paninis. Happy Election Day to you, Big V. Enjoy these snacks great while to, you're waiting great for to be the back. returns to Great to in. be back. Stella, back to you. Todd, get it together with the voice thing. I need you back here on the desk. Right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Still to come, the San Francisco Giants are World Series champions. Here it is. Struck him out. At 625, we'll take you to the streets to see how fans are celebrating downtown. But first, some campaign 2010 trivia for you. When was the first governor elected here in California? Was it 1790, 1815, 1849, 1901? Try to figure it out, and we'll have the answer right after the break. We'll be right back.